guys, I got some more post slash package. Uh, this should, uh, it says driver, so I guess it's the should be one two point two and twenty volt to twelve or something. Let's get to your packaging. This is with the air pockets things. Yeah, it just came from my work, so yeah. Okay, and I didn't see that one before, but it's good. 12 volt something. Yes, it's the driver. Come on. Switch before power on, please check input voltage. Uh, what switch? Can't really see any switch at all, but okay. Do I have to open it to see the switch? Oh, wait. Yes, it's it's a little switch. So that's a 220 at 110, but it's set it correctly. So that's fine. And well. Uh, where do I have a bit of a cable? I have a drawer full of stuff. Well, this one should do it. This thing was about 12 euros or something like that. It was pretty cheap. So we'll see how good it will work. So yeah. Okay, this is pretty weird. Let's just nip it off. I don't know why I have this though, but okay, fine. Just nip it off then. Okay, so the wires are stripped and everything. First one should be live. Yes, you should hurt this with a good plug, but don't have one yet. Well, I have one, but yeah. Okay, now I can check if it explodes or not. Probably not. I hope. Let's see. Don't get the shock from it, so that's good. <laughs> I have a little light that's like this. Mm, little, it isn't really that small. Ah. There is a green LED burning, as you can see there. And then voltage plus in common. So that's this one here. And this one. Okay, there's 12 volt coming from it, so that's great. Okay, so there's 12 volt coming, and this thing draws, what was it, 3 amps or something? Oh, pretty much a lot, so. That will be fine. Yeah. So, I'm just gonna let this run for a little while. 
and I can also see if this thing gets uh, well really hot. Because if I had a LED last time and that one, yeah, this burned. So now we'll see. A voltage meter. Well, I have one somewhere around here. <laughs> so I'm gonna get that one from downstairs. But for this, it looks pretty good. It is solid. So that's good. Uh, aluminium, probably. There is a little piece of plastic under it, so it doesn't. So it can't touch it at all. So I think it's fine. So I'll just let this thing running for a while and then uh, I'll see. So uh, see ya. In a few minutes. Okay, so well, I removed the plate for a second. Well, the LED. It's got. It's hotter than I wanted, but yeah. So yeah. So this is the board, it's all. This thing does get a bit warm, but not hot at all. So that's good. The stores are all fine. So yeah. So now I will go to the next one and I already had a boost converter. I also got received this one. So yeah. So we're gonna mount this on the plate. So yeah. So I got the wired and now. everything. Well, it's pretty good. And the voltage without adjusting it was 12.12 12 volts. So that's fine. Now I have it set to. Is this way? Let's change it to volts instead of amps. Now I've set it to 14 volts, of course it's the uh, way around. Before I already ordered one of these boost converters. So this thing can go to 32 volts I guess, that's something around that range. So yeah, I bought this thing for a charger, it should be 28 or 29 volts. So yeah. Why not directly? Well, I couldn't really find a power supply that could do that. It's about 80 watts that it should handle. This one is capable of max 150 watts with cooling. So I still gotta add a PC fan. Or just a fan. So this one is 28 volts. And the good thing about it was that it this about in that range. Different screwdriver, this one should fit. Yes. That's the maximum, so that's for well, around 15 volts. This is pretty much the same. Because now this one should be 13. No, not 13, but 11. Yes, 11 and a half volts. And if you screw it up. It isn't really that sensitive, so that's good. And. This is the max, 15 volts. So I'm just gonna put it at 14.2. Or just 14, it's fine. If I can just wire my battery to this, and it will just charge it up and just stay full, I guess. A little boosting just with a few screws in there, so still gonna mount it correctly and everything and shield it and gotta do that stuff. But yeah. I'm sticking my board it is now used as a plate for my dog, the wooden plate. So, so this is a small cabinet and the dog can go in there and there are a lot of cables. So 
yeah, just put the plate in front of it. Well, the wooden slab, you know what I mean. Yeah, but I think it's fine. It feels pretty rigid. This little flap snaps in pretty good, so you can reach it that easily. Uh, still got a wired earth pin, of course, and everything, but for testing it now, it's fine. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure it could be handling that amount. It should be fine. So, yeah. And this thing also works fine. It's pretty sensitive, so that's good. LED works and for things, so yeah, I'm happy with it. So, yeah. That's about it for this thing. There isn't really much more to say about the power supply, I guess. Stuff in there. Uh, well, it's just pretty basic stuff. The, cap the caps aren't the best ones, but um, what can you expect from this price? And it is a pretty decent module. So in that way it's fine. So yeah. So that's it for today I guess. So yeah. See ya.